Hey guys, welcome to my channel. And in today's training video, you're going to see how we find all our trade setups on all markets in our live trading room. So stay tuned. Okay, let's go recruit. All right, so I got gold live right now to the left, and I got crude here live to the right. All right. Now, what we want to try to do is we want to try to sell retracements or buy retracements with the overall trend direction. All right. So what we have going on right now, the algo currently that you guys are going to be getting is actually short. It's got a runner running right now. It went short at 40, what was it, 48. Right now we're at 25. We got a runner running with a 64 tick target. We took out eight ticks on the first target. Break even plus one. We got a runner going down to 64 ticks on this runner. Why did this algo get short? This is a software, this back testing software that you members are going to be getting. You can back test any type of time frame, any type of market. I don't care if it's the S&P 500, Nasdaq futures. You can trade uh, heating oil, and gasoline, whatever you trade. It's the same, uh, same methodology. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you trade the forex. It doesn't matter if you trade, you know, different uh, ETFs. You know, whatever you trade, this system works in all markets the same way. So why is this short? Why did this algo go short here based upon the system in the room? Why is it short right here? Let's take a look at it. What you want to do is you want to look at buying and selling trades. The most important thing that you can do is the trend box. Okay, let's go over gold first over here, gold. Yeah. We'll look at crude, why the algo is short, and how you can manually see it in the room. So what we're going to do on gold is this. The green trend box is obviously mean trend is up. I got the trend filter built into this uh, these rainbow bars. So the trend is up if it's green, trend is down if it's red. Very simple. Moving average is self out if we're crossed up, we're obviously in an uptrend, we're cross bound, we're in a downtrend. So very simple. The most important thing you're going to see these trend boxes are not if they're red or green, it's the number of candles that closes inside the boxes. Let's go over this real quick. It's very important to understand this. That's one good video. If we get a one candle close inside the trend box, we get a one candle close inside the trend box, that means we got major possible speed coming to the market. The beautiful thing about these markets, they're electronically traded. They leave a footprint of all these algorithms, of all these hedge funds, profit professional traders, all these high frequency traders, they leave their footprint of where the money is coming in and coming out of. And this tells us if I see a one candle close in the green box, I possibly got a major push in that direction, especially if my trend filter is up. Okay, so my trend filter is up. It tells me that one candle close, I'm looking for a push up. And then I'm looking for the first retracement down. Once I get the first retracement down, I'm going to look for this retracement indicator below, this full retracement indicator, to get below 10%. Once it goes to below 10%, what I can do is I can look for a positive market delta, the relationship between the bit and the ass to turn green, or since I have a trend filter built into these candles, a positive green bar, candle close. So there's your first entry. It just happened. Stop loss, two ticks below the swing low. We don't need to risk more than two ticks below the swing low because the system is very accurate in trying to call these swings. We don't want to risk more than two ticks because that gives us some increase in rate out, which this is right around the 11 tick stop. <clears throat> so we don't want to risk more than that, which is 120 bucks. Market comes up, we get a two candle close, one, two. There's your two candle close. There's your first retracement, full retracement. There we go. Get a big move up again. When we come into the next one, you can see what we're doing here. Two candle close, market comes up, market comes up, full retracement, you get a doji right below. There is your full retracement, positive market delta. We had another good buy push up to the upside. So you can see what we're trying to do is we're trying to do that on a full retracement. Now, Let's go over here on crude. Why did crude over here get short this morning on the outcome? If I, if I show crude up now, 
is here, which is why the alpha is short. I had a two candle close inside of a negative trend box, which is a red trend box. Okay. The first full retracement, I'm looking to go short. There's your full, full, full retracement. I like to sell retracements to trend. Negative market delta. There's a doji red for high. Call the swing. I got two negative market, two, two candle closes showing major sell in the market, major speed. I want it to retrace back up. Green, 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 green. I get a doji right at the high with the negative market delta right at the swing high again. Market pushes down. Push, 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 push. I get two candle closes on my smaller time frame. We push above 80% or 90%. Green, 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 green. We get a doji right at the high. Negative market delta. And we get another push down. So you can see, whether it be gold or crude, it's still the same concept. All right? What's the market trying to do now? Look at this. I get a one candle close. That's the best you can get inside the small time frame. That's telling me they're trying to push that up on the next retracement. I close back inside of my symmetry dots. This is one of my favorite trades. Close inside of symmetry. You get a what? You get a negative, I mean, below 10%. Tell me I'm going to pull retracement. We get a positive market delta, we sure do, with a green reversal bar. There you go. So you can see the rhythm of the market. That's what we're trying to do. Now, this is just this is a small time frame. This is a very small time frame. This is a three sim rate though. This is the smallest time frame that I educate traders to use on any, any market. It works really good on the SP 500. Really good on the SP. Three and five cent. I mean, it's just trade, 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 trade. It's crazy. Lots of trades like this. So the bottom line is, is all these are limited risk because all your stops are two ticks above the swing high, two ticks above the swing high, two ticks above the swing high, two ticks above the swing high. All limited risk. Every one of them is limited risk. We want to limit a risk. So if you're trading off a three sim rate though, your stops are going to be an average, like I said, around 11 to 12 tick stop. Because if you run a live trade, all you live traders that run live trades, you typically get filled when that setup comes up, the high of the next bar. So the high of the next bar is typically right around 11 tick stop. So in other words, if I got long here at this candle, your live fills typically right here. Not at the low of this candle, you're not going to get filled the low, but right there was a buy setup, right? Right there. So you're filled this last trade was 57 long. Actually, the alpha wouldn't be in there. Yeah, pretty much close. So 57 long, and you're out at 70 just for the next push. You can see the rhythm of it. The rhythm of it is this. When you have big, wide consolidation bars, now this is what's called consolidation before continuation. We knew the mark was overall down in crude this morning anyway. We know it's down because of the big 9 sim rank. Remember, I got a large time frame, a 9 sim rank and I got a small time frame. I got a three cent rate go, right? Hey Earl, what's happening, buddy? I got a small time frame, I got a large time frame. Nine cent rate go, three cent rate go. The nine was already down. So we already know the push is down. So when you see, I call it consolidation before continuation. I mark these charts up and send out to you. I'll send these out to you today. Like I said, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I'll send you charts on the outgo and also these charts. So you guys, but that's consolidation before continuation. Here it is. What a consolidation is, is if the trend is down, that means I got more than what? I got more than four candles that are closing inside of a closed trend box. So I got more than four candles that close inside of a trend box. That's consolidation before what? Before continuation. It's continuation. All right? That's how the market works. So it sets a series of lower highs when going down and higher lows when it's going up. It's called consolidation before continuation. How we can how we can do how we can look at as traders in is we can we can put this into a methodology. One, very simple. We find the trend. What's the trend? Two, after we find the trend, trends down. Two.
look for speed boxes. Three, step one, one, two, three. Trend, look for speed boxes. Three, look for four to trace them. One, two, three. Trend. That's typically what we try to do every day, right there. Because you look for trend, right? The trend's down. We look for speed boxes right here. They are. Here's a speed box. We look for speed boxes. We look for the speed boxes. Try to find the speed boxes. Where's the speed boxes? That's telling us, especially on these smaller time frames of 3 sem. Oops. Wrong one. That tells us when there's a possible push behind us in the market. That's what you're trying to find. Where's the speed boxes? Where are they at? Where are they at? That's going to time our trade. That's going to tell us if the market's ready to go. And that's all time frames. Like I said, you don't have to use smaller time frames. So these are big inflection points. There's your consolidation, more than four candles inside the speed box. And these, where I just marked up, that's giving you a heads up. This is a leading indicator. This is not a lagging indicator. This is very, very, very leading. It's telling you that the push in the market, remember, these are electronically traded markets. This has nothing to do with my opinion or your opinion. Don't listen to yourself and don't listen to me. Don't listen to Gerald. Listen to the internals of the market. The internals are saying, hey, they're trying to mark the market up or mark the market down. Wait for the speed to come in the market and then look for the look for your retracement. Like that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get into the speed of the market. Okay? If I look at gold, right here, gold. Gold just had a big, huge trend down. Watch. This is not hard to understand. This is consolidation before continuation. There's your consolidation. Four trend boxes. I mean, more four candles. Consolidation. There's my two candle close. There's my speed box coming in. There's my full retracement. For retracement, there's my negative bar right there. That's a 32 all the way down to 27. Almost a $400 trade. Just upon looking at consolidation before continuation. All right, that's what we're trying to do. This is a small time. This is a three cent, so there's, it moves kind of fast. But the five cent is the same way. The five cent Rico and the nine cent, that's the same concept. So we're trying to do the same concept. We're trying to find consolidation before continuation.